hello everyone it's like 11 p.m however we're in different time zones so for smurf it's closer to 2 a.m yeah. and for me it's closer to 3 a.m we're fucking dying i did not film a proper intro as you can see it's just flight footage and aesthetic music i mean that's at least what i hope i'm gonna be able to edit we're at a uh, tan's house and we're dying and living like larry and we have to be up at uh 7 a.m no, we have to be up earlier. What? Okay, Smurfy's waking up at like 5 a.m. to get into cosplay, and I absolutely refuse to wake up that early. I'm not doing cosplay this weekend. I'm only going to do Bakugo on Saturday, and that's because all I got to do is his wig and his outfit, and it's like much simpler than any of my other cosplays. But Smurf is going full, full cowling with the cosplay as usual. Smurf has also had an incredibly cursed day. They got here about 12 hours earlier than I did, so they went to the con to like set up and register, and they dropped their poor Starbucks on the ground so tragic it was so sad and when they went to go register they were listed as an assistant instead of an artist like an assistant for my table which is just like we literally paid for artist alley memberships and passes for smurf and yet they still refused to let them get take the artist alley ribbon so that means we have to go back tomorrow to register me and get the artist alley ribbons for the convention and then we have to set up our table because the, the con starts at 10 a.m on friday hi it's editing ig here if you're watching this i am currently recovering from surgery and editing all of the vlog footage that i haven't been able to edit for the past few months um this convention in general was so cursed this should have been an indication right from the beginning that this was going to be an absolute shit show you just watch the vlog because everything that could go wrong did go wrong and most of it was not our fault oh yeah and trashy got like they their flight got freaking canceled so they're also flying in tomorrow morning um they're getting in at like 8 a.m and coming straight to the convention center with all their stuff so we're gonna try to set up before then so we can help them set up but this trip is already incredibly cursed but we're still gonna try to have a good time you look very like milo right now yep yep the quality of the camera looks so awful. You, we kind of just look like we're in liminal space. This is the back rooms. <laughs> this is the back rooms of our con life. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. We're heading to the convention center. It's like just a little past 7 a.m. and we're stopping to get McDonald's hash browns. Those are so freaking gorgeous. Aren't they? Damn. I like, I walk past them and I'm like, it is so rare for me to see art of them, let alone art that I've never seen before. C2E2 artists are like amazing. So I, bought, I went and bought these prints like the first thing on Saturday because I wanted them so bad. Mm -hmm. And then Trashy came and gave them to me. <laughs> oh, that's so sweet. <laughs> one for your bedroom, one for the bathroom. Yeah. <laughs> Setup is going well. Smurfy did a lot yesterday and now we're just hanging up our prints and putting it all on the table and then Trashy gets here. I mean, they're getting here more like at nine because of registration and everything. So once they're here, we're gonna go help them set up. So we're trying to finish it right now. So we just got told our display is too high. So I had to take it off the table and now have to take down an entire section of grates. And I'm not sure exactly what we're gonna do. Um, so wish us luck because we need it. Editing egg back again. We did not in fact finish just then. Um, someone came by our table first time around, said that our display was built too high and told me to take off one row of grates. It was disappointing, but I was able to fix it up and change the display settings. And at this point, uh, Smurfy was off helping Trashy with all of their stuff. So I was like alone and I was like, you know, I can do it by myself. I'll, I'll be quick. The convention opens in like half an hour. I finished breaking everything down, putting it all back up, lifting it back onto the table with the help of our neighbors and they come back again and they're like oh actually it's still too high and then they pull out the measuring stick and they're like you need to take down another row and at this point I'm like freaking freaking out I'm crying I'm trying not to cry because I don't know anyone around me and I'm looking around and there are many people around us whose displays were larger than ours was so I don't know why they were picking on me um but it was uh and it was just a, a shit show it was really really disappointing <laughs> it was really sad so shit show terrible did, did not did not have a vibe setting up but we did get everything set up eventually and 
That's just what happens, I guess, sometimes. This fucking con, oh my god. Okay, so an update. This convention is kind of insane and not in the fun way. I'm cutting out stickers for Smurfy because they're going to a Phantom Troop meetup uh, with the Hunter Hunter characters, but the convention has been absolutely insane. Smurfy met up with the Phantom Troop and they gave gifts. So now they've got they've got a Crollo hoodie and it looks really cool. Little spiders, lacrosse, little bookmark design on the back. Oh my goodness. Crollo in a Crollo hoodie. <laughs> the scrunkle of the nose. We got 15 minutes left of the convention today and we're just finishing cutting out and packaging some sticker packs for tomorrow. And today has literally been like a Saturday's worth of sales. It's been fucking crazy. So I'm kind of nervous about tomorrow, but if we sell out of stuff, we sell out of stuff and it'll be considered a good thing. Your wrists look so dainty in the video monitor right now. Little, little, little children wrists. That sounded so creepy. I'm gonna <laughs> stop talking. So the convention is over for the day. We've had a freaking absolutely crazy Friday and we've just adjusted some of the prints, moved some stuff down. I am laying some prints flat down here for tall people to see. Let's hope it works. And we're gonna go get some Mexican food for dinner. I'm excited. It's not Comic-Con until Smurfy's face down on the ground and, co and Crollo cosplay. <laughs> Smurf is attempting to climb on rocks for cosplay photos. That's going about as well as you'd assume. Oh shit, are you okay? Just a little creature. Hill. Oh, hold him like a baby. <laughs> Breakfast of Kings. There's olive oil at the top, not mixed throughout. So here's another side note by editing egg. I'm sorry I keep popping in, but I realized that the convention was so hectic that I didn't record a whole lot of the crazy shit happening. So the convention center that we were in, the Artist Alley Convention Center, was in the Arch Convention Center in Seattle, which is not the main convention center for the con. They had Artist Alley in an entirely different building, a building that was four blocks away from the main building, a 15 minute walk, and there were plenty of people in wheelchairs who literally could not get over to us. It was a disaster. It was awful. No explanation as to why they decided to put us in the in the wrong convention center But that also was very much impeding sales and making the whole con just a freaking nightmare Day two has just started the doors just opened and I'm just cutting out some more little hand stickers so far No one has gotten any of these but I have sold a few of the little Face stickers very cute very cute I really love my Toga Chaco designs. I just wish they were a little more popular. I feel like there's a bias against them because Ochako gets a bad rap because of how bad the dub is. I love Ochako, she's an amazing character. The con is closed for Saturday and it was a pretty good day, um, all things considered. Just not as good as yesterday, which is very confusing. But now I'm gonna head over to the little bookstore that I come to every time I'm in Seattle. And then we're gonna get boba and some donuts and go home. I have no idea what to do with all the friggin' walk room we have back here. There's so much of it.
Oh, what a shame. The poor groom's bride is a volcano dog. Good morning, everybody. It's Sunday, last day of the convention, and we're just about to head out. Carlo in a hoodie is currently exploding their hot pot in the microwave. <laughs> this morning, we got a bunch of freaking videos and posts about how good Anime Detour is going <laughs> and how the staff at Anime Detour are going around giving out sandwiches and instant ramen to the artists. Like they've got like mobile carts with snacks and food. And it's honestly getting ridiculous, <laughs> all of the Anime Detour posts and how they're like bragging about how good the convention is going compared to SakuraCon. But it's fine, it's fine. We got one more day, we're gonna make good sales. We're gonna eat good food, and then I am going to sleep for 25 hours. We're here at the con, and we're just cutting out some more stickers because we're always cutting stickers. <laughs> it never, it never does end, does it? And it also is Easter Sunday, surprisingly, shockingly. I can't believe that I didn't realize that. I don't want, I don't, I'm so tired to vlog. I hate vlogging, this is so awful. I added my little, hand stickers to my little money pouch for the con with all of my other cute stickers. All my other little dudes, adorable. I love them. Let's hope that today is a successful day. It's been pretty good the rest of the days, but you know, I'm a little nervous about the fact that it ends at four instead of five like usual, but we're gonna get through this. We're gonna have a good time. We're gonna eat good food and we're gonna live like Larry. Another side note by editing egg, I encountered anti-gay Jesus protests on Sunday on the street corner leading into the convention center and they held me up for like 15 minutes and would not let me leave unless I answered their questions and I just did not want to get involved. This con was just cursed. It was just a disaster. <laughs> I'm tired of social interaction, so I'm hiding under the table for a little bit while Smurf handles sales. This is the little collection of eggs the cosplayers have been giving us. Very sweet of them. The convention is over and we're breaking down. We're almost done, but I am really fucking tired and I cannot wait to get out of here. Hanako is now my victim. I'm sorry, everyone. We only got a little bit left. Our collection of drinks is dwindling and I'm dying. I cannot wait to get out of here. I am so tired of conventions. You gonna pose like an influencer again? I am back home from Sakura Con and it's been a few weeks actually and today is the day after I got my chest surgery. Yay! So I'm still healing from that. Uh, the healing process is actually going like really really well. I wasn't able to move at all yesterday and this morning but I'm able to move pretty good now. I think it's because I wasn't taking as many pain meds as I was supposed to. So I went to the doctor and got my bandages removed today and I've been working on some drawing. As you can see my beautiful Aki, he's uh, probably already up on my Instagram. Instagram if you guys want to get a closer look at how beautiful he is. And I thought I would review all of the goodies that I got at the convention for you. So first off, I got a ton of manga. The Sasaki and Miyano is like my new obsession. I absolutely love it. It's so, so cute. And this cover art is just absolutely stunning. It's so beautiful. If you guys haven't watched the anime or read the manga, I really recommend it. They're very, very cute. And then this is a sequel series about um, Hirano and Kagira, which I haven't started yet. 
yet, but it's based off these two side characters that show up in Sasaki and Miyano. And it's looking like it's going to be really cute. And I also love the cover art for this. Sho Harusono is an amazing artist and a really fantastic storyteller. Actually, all the manga that I'm about to show you is all gay. It's like just a lot of Yuri and Yaoi. And I'm so glad they had like just as big of a Yuri section as they had a Yaoi section. I got the She Loves to Cook and She Loves to Eat, which you guys may have seen on Twitter. It's about this woman who loves cooking. It's her passion. It's her hobby. But it makes dating difficult because every man that she meets just wants her to turn her passion, her love for cooking, into just emotional labor to cook for him. And that's the only thing that they see about her. And she instead feeds her neighbor, this really beautiful butch buff lady, and they fall in love. Oh, and here's another volume of Sasaki and Miyano. This is volume five. I'm slowly assembling my collection. And the cover art is also so beautiful for this one. And finally, I got uh, another story, Assorted Entanglement. This is another Yuri. And it's just about this punk delinquent uh, girl and this young teacher. And they're both in their 20s. And it's just so, it's it's it looks really, really cute. And I'm really excited to read this. And just the art looks so beautiful. So those are the manga that I got. And I got a bunch of stickers too, but I also wanted to show you guys. Smurfy came out with a Crollo and Hisoka zine, which looks so, so beautiful. They've got like a bunch of really cute comics and they got some SFW and NSFW stuff and lots of cute sketches. It's just so, so beautiful. And I love everything that Smurfy makes. This is so beautiful. It's so beautiful, you guys. And now moving on to stickers. I got quite a few cute little Chainsaw Man stickers. Got Denji and Aki, who are my best boys. Aki is like my favorite character ever. And I love Denji so much. Two bros being bros, being cutie pies. I'm gonna put these on my laptop. And I already took some of the stickers off of this one, but this is like a clockwork orange little thing with Makima. Makima is one of my favorite villains ever. Such a fantastic, horrible character. So I've already taken off some Chainsaw Man stickers from this one, but they're super cute and super cool. They're adorable. As you can see, I took the Pochitas and the Aki and the Denji off. And then I also got a cute little, little some cute little prints of some cat boys. And then finally, we have the uh, Hisoka and Crollo Valentine's Day box that me and Smurfy did a trade of. And it comes with all these really cute goodies. It comes with pins. It comes with acrylic charms. It comes with candies and popcorn. And this entire box is like circus themed, like a date at the circus, like date at the fair, like the carnival. Got some popcorn balls, which look really tasty. Cannot wait to eat them. Those are really nice. I'm gonna put those on my bag. So pretty. I think I might wanna be making some heart-shaped buttons too because these are just so perfect, so cute. And another one! This box came with so much stuff. I'm really happy I was able to snag some. Here's the little lollipop keychain of the two of them. I really love these lollipop charms. I kind of want to make some of my own, maybe for Halloween this year. And this was a gift from Smurfy, which I didn't even know they put in here, because I'm obsessed with Our Flag Means Death. I can't, I didn't even see this. Oh my god. Thank you, Amanda. I love you. We also got some cute stickers of them having their day at the carnival. And last but not least, we got a very cute little Polaroid of them. They're adorable. They're lovely. I love them so much. Ah! I hope you enjoyed seeing all the goodies that I got at the convention. I'm kind of going to be bedridden for the next month because of my chest surgery. So if you guys want to check out my store, I'm having a really big store sale right now, 25% off on everything because I'm moving at the end of the month. And it'd be a big help to just have some extra gas money for the, for the road trip across the country to get to my new apartment. And I've got some good goodies up on there. So if you guys want to check it out, just follow the link in my description. Thank you guys for watching this video and I hope you have a great night. Bye bye!